What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can see by the title, we have yet another very extra Wish try on haul. So as you guys can hear by my voice today, I'm a little bit bummed up. It's just that time of the year where everyone's getting ill. So you guys are welcome. You're gonna have to deal with this voice for the rest of the video. You guys probably know the drill by now with how these videos go. I basically just pick up a few things that I find a little bit out of my comfort zone on Wish, a little bit more like extra and bougie. And then I basically just try it out for you guys so you guys don't have to. If you guys want to see a whole like playlist of all these videos I've done over the past couple of months I will link them all in the eye right there and also the description but if you guys want to see what I picked up at this time then let's get on into the video okay so the first thing I have here I can see some neon in the packaging which I mean is neon still even in I have no clue I mean I know it was kind of like on trend with like the Instagram baddies but is it still a thing? You tell me. Anyways, this is what's inside the package. Ooh, do you know what? As always, I don't even remember what I actually bought because I bought these things like a month ago and this kind of feels like Christmas to be honest because I have no idea what I'm getting. <laughs> Anyways, the first item kind of looks like a fluorescent high-vis jacket, just a tad. Okay, what have we got here? Oh my God, what even is that? Is that the top? Oh, I'm holding it upside down. <laughs> if I was holding it the right way up, that would kind of help. So this is the top. <sighs> I mean, I wonder what this hole right here has a purpose of. Like, what exactly does it do, you know? It's literally like a window into my soul. So what else do I have to say about it? It's fluorescent, it's got a weird window to my soul, it's got a strap, it's got these little, like, reflective things. I don't know what they're called. It's long sleeve and it's a crop top, so what could the bottoms be? Oh yes, oh yes. The cycling shorts. I mean, are we sick of these yet? Or do we still like them? I've got to be honest, I don't know if I ever liked them to begin with. And I mean, they're still around. People are still wearing them. So I guess they're kind of on trend still, but... I don't know, they just always fit my body too weird. So I'm not gonna lie, the fabric feels really nice and like really stretchy, so that's a good sign. And it doesn't feel like it's gonna be see-through or anything, which is great. Honestly though, with the top, I have no idea how I feel about this little window. I mean, I might just have to blur it out because this could be a lot, so let's try it on and see how it looks. Okay, so this is the first item, and thank God this cutout is literally placed so strategically right over my bra so I don't even have to blur anything out because we're all good, you can't see anything. Thank God because this is literally so exposing. Like I said, this is literally a hole into my soul. That's how bad it is. To be honest, when I was buying this, I did see the photo. I just didn't really think about how it would look on me. I guess I just had high hopes that it wouldn't be as exposing as it is, but we're all good. I'm sure there are plenty of girls out there who would wear this out happily and not feel exposed. But to be honest, for me, it's a little bit much. It's a little bit extra. Also, the top kind of rises up. As you can see, you can see like the underneath of my bra right here, which I don't know if that's supposed to happen, but it is. The shorts, however, fit really nicely, but I feel like they're just just giving me a slight camel so I'm gonna stand like this just in case. I actually quite like the shape of it. I mean I kind of have like hip dips so these little lines almost like help balance that out so you can't really see my hip dips. Is anyone else out there that has hip dips and they're like a little bit self-conscious about it because I used to always think that it's just me, but apparently there's a lot of people that have hip dips. If you don't know what hip dips are, it's basically where you have like a little dip in your hip, <laughs> hence the tongue hip dip. So the actual cycling shorts, dare I say it, I think they're actually okay. I know I usually make fun of cycling shorts, but this is something I'd probably wear to like the gym, and maybe just not like out, like an outdoor outfit. But this top, I mean, come on, this is just ridiculous. Like, I wouldn't say I have a big chest, but if anyone out there had even a bigger chest than me, this would just not fit, like it would just rise up. There's just not enough like fabric for the actual boob area. Like it just needs to constantly be pulled down like this. But to be honest, for 11 pounds, which is what this cost together, it's not a bad outfit. And if you don't mind this whole section being really exposed, I'd go for it because it's not that bad. It's just the top that's like a little bit small for me. So maybe this would work for someone who's got a slightly smaller chest. I'm gonna give this like, a 50-50. I'm not 100% convinced, but I do like the shorts. Okay, the next item we have is right here. I'm really excited to see what's inside. Ooh! I see 
A checkered print, you guys know I love checkered prints so much, especially when it's kind of like faux Burberry. So I'm pretty sure from memory, this is like a co-ord, like a two-piece kind of situation. Ooh, it feels nice. Oh my God. It feels like really silky, wow. Okay, I'm shook to be honest. This is like a really nice blazer. I mean, it's not lined on the inside, but the outside is so nice. Like the fabric actually feels nice for once. And then we have, oh, what's this? Is this the top? Okay, so we have a little bit of a <laughs> bikini sort of top. Um, it kind of goes like this. It's basically like one of those triangle bras. And then the last piece is the skirt. I mean, you get a whole outfit in one. What's not extra about that? I mean, from first impressions, the quality feels really, really nice. It feels like it's got a bit of stretch to it. The skirt has a zipper. I don't think there's anything that I dislike about the make and the quality, but the fit could be a whole other story. So let's pop it on and see how it fits. Okay, so this is the next outfit. And I've got to say, I'm actually kind of digging it. Maybe not the top I feel like the top half is a little bit much I probably wouldn't be as comfortable wearing something like this outside but I like the general vibe of it I love the fabric I love the fact that it's like really really extra I mean everything is matching how extra can you get and the actual fabric quality does feel really really nice as well it feels really silky it feels well made and it definitely doesn't feel like it was bought from wish which is the main thing I kind of wish that this little blazer had like a button so you could like button it up but it's not a big deal I'm sure you could sew that on yourself the top does fit nicely but I just don't like having this much on show maybe like at the beach but in just a general outfit, I probably wouldn't want that. The skirt also is really nice, but I kind of wish that it was a little bit more high-waisted. Like naturally, if I just let it sit, it sits kind of like on my hips like this, but I would much rather if it was maybe like up here, so it was a little bit more high-waisted, but if I pull it up, it just makes it so short. But apart from that, I'm actually really, really happy with this outfit. I think it looks really cool. I can definitely see myself wearing the blazer and the skirt, but just not the top so much. I think I'm gonna give this one a big thumbs up. Okay, the next item I have right here, this one's a little bit bigger actually, and I'm really interested to see what's inside. So the next one, is white. Again, I have no clue what this could be. Ooh, okay. So we have, oh wow. So there's two pieces. This is the top, <laughs> okay. This is very extra so far. It's got like long sleeves with like a puffy bell thing at the end. The top has like pads, which is amazing. I love that. And also it's got like, um, like a buckle, but it's kind of like tortoise shell. And then the bottoms is just a skirt, just a simple white skirt. There's, an, oh wait, is it short? No, it's a skirt. <laughs> it has got a zipper at the back, but there's not really much to it. I'm hoping this isn't gonna be see-through. It looks like the kind of fabric that will be, but we'll see. Okay, listen, this is not a bad outfit for 10 pounds. Like, can we just, Reflect on that, this was only 10 pounds and it looks pretty decent. I mean, upon looking at the photo of the listing, it definitely isn't as nice quality, especially the skirt as it was in the listing. But I feel like it is a pretty good replica of the original outfit that they must have used for the photo. I'm sure it was from another brand, but they did a pretty good job at replicating it. I kind of get like Jasmine vibes from Aladdin wearing this top and I'm not mad about it. I think the top is really nice. I'm actually really surprised how well it actually supports me because I'm literally just wearing this top and these little pads right here are doing all the work, okay? The skirt, I mean, it could be a little bit better. As you guys can see, you can see like my dark colored underwear and Underneath, which isn't great. You could always wear nude underwear, but I thought I'd wear, you know, darker ones so you guys can see the opacity of these clothes. Do you know what? I would happily wear this top out, but maybe just not the skirt. So I could totally see myself pairing this top with like a pair of jeans, making it a little bit more casual because this is quite extra by itself. I am really happy with the top, but just not the skirt, but I'm still gonna give this outfit a thumbs up because I feel like for 10 pounds, it's not bad at all. Quick Coca-Cola break. This video is brought to you by Coca-Cola. It's not, it really isn't. I wish it was. Does anyone else just drink straight out of the bottle because you can't be asked to 
wash up glasses. That is my life right now. Okay, now the next item is another neon one from what I can see in the packaging. I literally opened this when it first got here and I was like, okay, this is for the video. I'm not gonna open it because I wanted to get a live reaction on camera. I mean, this is very green and very fluorescent. It's literally leaving a hue of the green on my face. That's how green it is. It's ribbed, so that's a good sign. I love anything ribbed, you guys know this. Ooh, okay. Okay, so we've got another little like keyhole sort of situation right here. The sleeves are what really drew my attention. I think this is so cool. It's basically got like a row of eyelets right at the end of the sleeve that you can like lace up yourself. And then the bottoms is literally just a simple pencil skirt, which again has a lot of stretch to it. The fabric quality feels nice. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be see-through. But the color, I mean, I'm not 100% sure on the color. You guys know I don't really wear neon, but I like to try the trends to, you know, fit in with the cool kids. <laughs> so yeah, this is it. Let's try it on and see how it looks on me. <laughs> okay, so this is the next outfit. I've gotta say, I kind of feel like that little Martian toy from Toy Story right now. I look like one of those aliens, basically. This outfit looks so fluorescent on camera as well. Like now that I look at it in the mirror, it kind of looks like lime, like a lime sort of green, but on camera, it's like really fluorescent for some reason. Also, I've only actually tied up one of the sleeves, so this is kind of to demonstrate how it can look, but I didn't do the other side because I basically did this whilst I already put the top on, which in hindsight, I probably should have done it before because what could have been like a one minute task turned into 10 minutes and it was very difficult to do with just one hand, but this is how it's supposed to look. I actually quite like it. I think it looks really funky. I'm actually surprised that this top isn't actually that revealing. Like this little keyhole thing is just sitting in the right place. It's not showing any like cleavage or anything. It's just showing my chest, which is absolutely fine. And I actually quite like that because it just kind of breaks up the outfit a little bit you know I think the skirt fits really nicely as well like it's really really body fitting it's very stretchy and it just fits really nicely in all the right places so I'm really happy with that one but let me know what you guys think of this outfit would you wear it would you wear it in this color I'm a little bit unsure I think I would literally stand out in the crowd if I was to wear this out I think I'm gonna give this outfit a thumbs up for the fact that it fits nice I like the shape and style of it but I'm gonna give it a thumbs down for the color and the very last piece of extra clothing for today's video is actually a dress this is kind of like a silk sort of moment it's oh it's actually really thick okay this is interesting oh my god if this is not extra I don't know what is. The actual straps are like little diamantes or are they, is that what they're called, diamantes? They're not real diamonds, obviously. <laughs> they're just like little gems. I don't know what they're called. Why am I so bad? Is it zirconias? Is that what it is? I don't know. Anyways, this is the dress and it's basically like bodycon. Look at this. It goes <laughs> like it actually has so much shape. I'm kind of thinking, am I actually gonna feel that shape? <laughs> I don't have hips like that. That is hips for days. So we'll see how this looks on me, but it looked amazing on the listing. So I thought I'd pick it up and give it a shot because I love anything silk. So let's try this on and see if I can look as good as the model in the listing. <laughs> Probably not. Oh my God, this last dress is actually everything. I'm literally obsessed. I love the way it fits. Like it fits so nice and really like tight fitting, which I mean, for a bodycon dress, that's amazing. I was really worried that I wasn't actually gonna fill this dress because of how curvy it was, but actually, it looks pretty good. I mean, I'm actually kind of surprised that this actually fits me. I love the little straps. I think the straps are so extra. This dress is kind of giving me like Kardashian vibes. I can totally see like Kim K wearing something like this. In fact, I think she has worn like a silk dress like this before. I actually really like the length of it as well. Like it's not too short and it's not too long. It's like the perfect length. This is what it looks like from the back as well. It is just such a nice dress. This is definitely one I'm gonna keep in my collection. So I'm gonna give this one a massive thumbs up. So that is all for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below. Be sure to subscribe if you're brand new here and 
I honestly had so much fun trying out all this stuff. If you guys want me to do more videos like this in the future, also let me know down below in the comments. I've already done quite a few, so I will link them all in the description and also the eye right there. Again, I just quickly want to excuse my voice throughout this video. I feel like I just sound really like nasally and bunged up, but what can you do? I wanted to, you know, get this video out there for you guys anyways. Also, if you guys haven't already, make sure you follow me on my social media at Roxaurus on Twitter and Instagram, because I am going to be doing a massive makeup giveaway very very, very soon so if you guys want to you know join and be a part of that then make sure you follow me over on there as well but that is all from me thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.